car trouble. We told you two weeks ago when Michelle Kwan's Prius was reported stolen in Providence, her husband, gubernatorial candidate Clay Pell, left the keys inside. Well, now we're learning that this wasn't the first time Pell filed a stolen vehicle report. So do these personal mishaps have any impact on his political career? Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen asked our campaign 2014 political analyst. It's a good question. The story has caught a lot of attention, so I sat down with our political analyst to see how this may impact the race for governor. Kids have not once, but twice, Clay Pell's car has been reported missing. It's not good for Clay Pell. Eyewitness News analyst Joe Fleming sat down with me to go over the politics of a misplaced car. He has to build up a positive name recognition. And right now, this, I really believe, is not the way his campaign wants to see his name recognition built up. Last month, a police report states Pell's wife's Prius was stolen after he left his keys in it as he was rushing to an event. The car is still missing, but another police report has surfaced that verifies Pell misplaced his car in December. Pell's campaign manager released a statement saying Pell drove to a Thayer Street coffee shop for a meeting, but then walked back home. Pell called police to report it missing. The police report says the candidate later found his car at the coffee shop and called police to let them know. Fleming says the problem for Pell politically is, as other candidates talk about jobs, he's stuck talking about cars. But they're going to say, well, he, he had his car stolen. Then the other, first time he thought it was stolen, but it was really misplaced. He didn't know where he left his car. You know, that's it's not the image you want to give running for governor of the state of Rhode Island. And let's look at the field right now. Pell is running against Angel Tavares, Gina Raimondo, and Todd Giroux in the Democratic primary for governor. On the Republican side, Alan Fung and Ken Block are facing off, and independent Thomas Davis has also declared his candidacy. Now, in this statement, Pell's campaign manager took issue with what they call several discrepancies in the police report, but did not return any of our calls or emails today. And Providence officials didn't get back to us either. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.